F-Series has a flex arm design useful for showing your lesson materials at any angle. Simply bend the neck in any direction you want, don't worry, you won't break it. The camera head also folds nicely into the opposite side of the document camera for easy storage and portability. When you power on your AvaVision document camera, it will automatically adjust the picture using available light. If you need an additional light source, you can switch on the lamp shown here. All the features of your document camera can be accessed using the document camera itself or through the remote. The remote has many helpful shortcuts to key features. For example, to zoom using the camera, simply rotate the shuttle wheel clockwise to zoom in and counterclockwise to zoom out. As you zoom in, your F-Series camera will automatically focus to the new view. If you need to focus again, simply press the autofocus button on the camera. A useful tip to know when you're zoomed all the way into a picture is that you can simply hit the enter button to zoom all the way back out. You can also zoom using the zoom buttons on the remote. A handy tool on your AvaVision F-Series document camera is the ability to freeze your image. It's especially useful so you can switch out your material without disturbing working students. Push it once to freeze. Notice the indicator in the lower right hand corner that your image has been frozen. Now push it again to unfreeze the image. You can also rotate your image digitally without having to rotate your material or move your camera. Push the rotate button on your camera or remote to rotate the image 90 degrees. The F-Series comes with preset color controls. You can show any live image in color, black and white, as well as negative. You have the flexibility of capturing your images in three different ways, through the onboard camera storage, an SD card, or a USB thumb drive. Each document camera comes with onboard storage so you can easily snap pictures of your lesson material without needing additional storage and is the default way of capturing images. Make sure that the USB switch on the right side of the camera is in the PC position. Now if you're in live mode, you can press the capture delete button to save your images and if you're in the playback mode, you can press the same button to delete images. Now if you want to pull up all your saved images, all you have to do is hit the playback button and it should bring up an image thumbnails of all your saved images. You can easily scroll through those images by using the zoom shuttle wheel to navigate back and forth and by pressing enter, it will enlarge that image. You can also store images onto a USB thumb drive. To do this, all you have to do is plug a USB thumb drive into the side of the document camera, make sure the switch is in the USB storage position, and you're all set. Now, when you're in live mode, you can use the capture delete buttons to, of course, capture images, and use the same button to delete images in playback mode. A third option to save your images is through an SD card. To do this, all you have to do is make sure an SD card is inserted into the document camera, that the USB switch is in the PC position, and that you've initialized this SD card by going into the menu, settings, storage, and then SD card. With the F-Series, not only can you capture images, but you can also capture video to an external storage device. If you'd like to capture video to a USB thumb drive, make sure that the USB thumb drive is inserted into the right side of your document camera and that the USB switch is into the USB storage position and you're all set. To use an SD card, make sure the SD card is plugged into your dock cam and that the USB switch is in the PC position. To make sure that the SD card is initialized, make sure to go to the menu, settings, storage, and then SD card and you're all set to record video directly to a storage device.